today's menu, Jane Horsrill will be serving up a great way to teach line graphs to Year 5. Her Key Stage 2 Maths lesson on a plate. I call this my murder mystery maths. It's fun, exciting and guaranteed to get the children's hearts racing. There's a lineup of suspects all dying to get off the hook. I think who did the murder was of the gardener. I think it was Jackie because she was quite suspicious. And a mathematical way of solving the murder. We need some concrete evidence. All the ingredients for this lesson are available on the Teachers TV website, including the murder mystery video clip, handouts and Jane's lesson plan. Everything you need to serve it up to your own class. Jane's lesson builds on prior learning in both maths and science. This morning, we're going to be learning about line graphs. In Year 5, they would have learnt about handling data, collecting data. They would have learnt about bar graphs, pictograms, frequency tables. We use graphs for collecting data. A line down and a line across, and then you write the words at the bottom. They would have learnt um, about pulse rate in science, so it's building on their knowledge. Is it like um, how fast your heart beats? If your pulse don't beat, you die. This lesson starts with the children taking their pulse rate. You need to keep them calm because they'll be taking their resting pulse. Now normally you count your pulse rate over a minute. We can't do it for a minute, it's too long. We'd lose count. We can instead of a minute, 15 seconds or 10. We could time our pulse rate over a shorter length of time. What about if we count our pulse rates for six seconds? What do we have to multiply it then by? Ten. Good boy. You ready? Go. And stop. And multiply the number that you've got by ten. Uh, Sam, what was yours? Eighty. Eighty. Mine was ninety. Ninety. Thank you, Mary. Does your pulse rate stay the same the whole time? Sometimes your heart beats slow and sometimes your heart beats fast. Now it's time to speed things up with a bit of exercise. <laughs> Go on, really fast. Keep going. It's not even half a minute. Keep going. <laughs> and stop. Now, find your pulse. <laughs> What did you get, Brooke? I got 15 times it by 10, so 150. 150. So, Brooke, what's happened to your pulse rate? When I was running, it got quicker. It's gone faster because we were running fast and our blood was going around faster because our heart was beating faster. Now it's time to set the scene with the help of a short video clip. Suspects. One victim and one murderer. It's down to you to solve the crime. There is huge amounts of opportunity for the children to do lots of speaking and listening, ask lots of questions, listen to the answers, respond. So it's just not the maths learning that's going on or the science learning. There's a whole host of other things. We noticed the gardener because um, he, was, he might have buried him because he stomped on the soil. 
Tom, you, you had another idea, didn't you? Yeah, we thought it was the woman doing yoga because as she was running, she looked behind her. I think it was the business lady because um, she lost money at the start. I think she killed the artist to take the painting and then sell it to get the money back. The children are now given data sheets with crucial evidence to enable them to solve the murder mystery. The handouts provide pulse rates for each suspect throughout the day. And if you're watching online, you can view and download them below. I went to the garden after this. Look, they're, they're all 70, 17, 61. And the garden is 120. Is there another reason why Simon the gardener heart rate might be high. Because he works and all that. Yeah, he's digging in the garden, isn't he? So that's quite energetic, isn't it? There are also some statistical red herrings thrown in. It said the police interviewed all the suspects, but paid particular attention to some individuals. Five minutes with Desna and 17 minutes with Jackie. Well, we don't want to make it too easy for them. Tom Zero, so must be dead then. So, how many of you have changed your views about who the suspect might be? I've changed my mind because they arrested Jackie and I don't think so because on, when the police came, Lorna had the highest heart rate. OK. Dan, what do you think? Um, I think it's Jackie because she was in the interviewing room for the longest. I think it was either Jackie, the yoga woman or Simon. Why? Because. They've got, like, quite high heart rate things. That's right. We've got to organise this information, this data, haven't we? So we're going to organise it into a graph. OK, on the y-axis, we're going to put the pulse rates. And on the x-axis, we're going to put the different times of the day. Yes. Two o'clock. So, Sam, could you read out John's pulse rate at 9 o'clock? 70. OK, and I'm going to put a little blue cross where this line and the line that 70 is on crosses. Can you tell me what his pulse rate was at 10 o'clock? 145. What was it at 11 o'clock? 75. 75, which is there. And you need to join the first one to the second one and the second one to the third one. And eventually, you will have a line graph showing John's pulse rate. Okay? So what I want you and your partner to do now is to choose one of the characters, choose a colour, and I want you to plot that character's pulse rate on your graph. It's quite easy, because all you have to do is look at the times at the bottom and put the crosses. That one, that one, that one, that one. Having the spaces the same. It wasn't too hard, because we worked together and we did what we are supposed to do. Yeah, 100. Lord, there's 93. I was thinking I could be a surgeon when I was older, but now I want to be part of the police to draw graphs. So who is the murderer? So this is Tom's line. We know what happened to Tom, don't we? <laughs> Doesn't the line show that story of Tom brilliantly? See how this line comes down like this? And then there. He's died at that point. Yeah. He's been pushed off the tower and he's dead. This is Desna's. What's different about Desna's line? Her uh, one starts from the top. Hello? He's lost me a million. She lost a million on the phone, didn't she? She said, I'm so mad, I'm going to hurt them. Like that. Well, she was cross, wasn't she? Because she had lost a million. But when the murder was committed, how was Desna's heart rate then? Was it quite low for a murder happening? Really, yes. Yeah. So could we rule Desna out? Yeah. Let's have a look at Lorna. What's her line like? At 12 o'clock, her um, heart rate is quite high. That's quite a piece of strong evidence, isn't it? 
When I looked at the graph, I thought it was normal because she had all the big steps. When I looked at the graph and when I started doing it, I could see it was her because it started off low and then it got higher. So it, you think it might have been Lorna? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. OK. So how many of you feel confident in being able to interpret, to analyse the lines on the graphs that you've made? Fantastic, guys. Well done. Oh, did Jane's gourmet dish keep the children sweet? And will other teachers be keen to serve it up? There were a lot of surprises today during that lesson. Um, first of all, the way that they um, retained their interest and their enthusiasm throughout the lesson. Um, and also the way that the less able children were engaged, not just in the written work, but actually in discussion. And that really did surprise me. Can anybody tell me what a pulse rate is? It actually helps you live and be the best at everything. But also it did show me that the more able children were also challenged by it. So this particular class had a huge ability range and yet this lesson appealed and motivated all of them. It was quite exciting sometimes where you like had to answer like questions where like sometimes didn't know and you had to really think fast. I thought it was a really good lesson and um, I thought it was interesting. I thought this was really good and I, and I, and I really liked the line graph and I was really happy how they put that information into a so exciting like a murder. You don't have to follow my lesson plan. You actually just need the video clip. And really then you can take it where, wherever you want to go with it. Oh, there's huge potential for literacy and drama. We would possibly watch it and get them to think about the different characters who are in there and who might have done it and get them to talk about it. They would certainly be able to talk about the people in it and what's happened. They could actually finish it off and write the ending and put it into a different context. This approach to teaching is definitely a recipe for success. It's a fantastic way to get into a more creative approach to teaching. Um, just fly with it because I think you'll see once you do pick it up um, and use it just how beneficial it is to the learning of the children. And remember everything you need to create this dish for your own class is available on the page associated with this program on the Teachers TV website. The murder mystery video clip, the evidence sheets and of course Jane's lesson plan. A true lesson on a plate. If you'd like to find out what other teachers think about the lesson, why not join the online conversation at teachers.tv slash group slash lesson on a plate. <laughs>